Bookies in Britain are challenging the rule that forces them to pay 10% of their revenues to the industry. Could this 300-year-old sport of kings learn how to keep pace from America? Poppy Trowbridge reports. These young racehorses are groomed to be the best. They could be worth thousands of pounds in prize money one day. But their trainer isn't so confident. For a trainer like me, um, that we seem to be racing for an ever-decreasing amount of prize money. Next season, these horses will have fewer races to run. Cash is tight, so 150 events have been cancelled, almost 10% of the total. Racing is one of the most popular sports in Britain, but the subsidies that have helped it thrive are declining, putting training stables like this one at risk. It also means that owners are looking abroad for better prize money, putting pressure on the whole industry. The fortunes of UK horse racing are closely tied to those of the betting business. Bookmakers hand over a portion of their revenues to help sustain the sport. But that levy has declined by a third in just the past two years. It now stands at about 70 million pounds. Yet despite the declining investment, more and more people are actually going to the races. Average daily attendances in the UK are up this year. In the US, racetracks are working harder to pull in the punters. Some have installed slot machines to draw crowds. Others have held fewer races but offered winners more prize money. Three more two -year -olds to go. New betting patterns mean that changes are likely here, too. UK horse racing is the only sport to which UK bookmakers pay a compulsory levy. What we would propose would be that uh, the government announces a date, say three years from now, uh, at which the levy would cease to be payable. There's always going to be anxiety about a reduction in, 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 in funding, but we think we can work through that. We think that racing is terribly important to the betting industry. It's still a critical draw for betting shops. Finding funding is just as critical. But winning the next race is always the safest bet. Poppy Trowbridge, Bloomberg, Epsom, England.